everybody and welcome back. This really represents a little bit of a turning point because we're about halfway through this course and remember, let's keep our eye on the prize here. What we're trying to do is build a four month endurance training program. So let's keep on task, let's stay motivated and let's continue on with those next couple steps and at the end of it there's going to be a big payoff because you're going to have your plan ready to go. So let's have a look at what exactly we're going to cover next. So this really does represent a turning point. In the first half of this course, we've covered the science of mixed martial arts. So now you should know about the metabolic demands of MMA. You should know how to target the specific energy systems that we talked about by manipulating work to rest ratios. You should know about overtraining and how to avoid it and the signs and symptoms. You should know about the theory of periodization as it relates to mixed martial arts. And you should know the importance of performance testing. What we want to focus on now is applying everything that we've learned. Now before we can do that though, I need to just talk about and introduce you to the structure of this four step plan. You need to know exactly how we're going to do this. So that's the purpose of this session, session six, is to introduce you to those four steps that we're going to use to create unstoppable endurance. So a couple learning objectives. First and foremost, I want to introduce you to the worksheets that we're going to be working with for the next couple sessions. And after that, I want to introduce you to the four steps that we're going to be using to create unstoppable endurance. So here's the outline. This is what we're going to cover in this video lecture. First, we're going to introduce you to the worksheets and then we're going to cover steps one, two, three, and four. Steps one is scheduling the big training phases. Step two is forecasting training volume and intensity. Step three is planning training subphases and training weeks. Step four is programming the training session. Then we're going to have a summary. Now remember, we're not doing, these, this isn't a workshop. I'm just giving you an overview of all the different steps so you know exactly what to expect. So the first thing that I want to do is just introduce you to the worksheets that we're going to be using. Now I just want to direct your attention to the download section. In that download section you're going to be able to download two different documents. One, it's an Excel sheet, it's called um, uh, Fight Plan Template, and the other one, it's a Word document and it's also called Fight Plan Template. So uh, let me just bring these up and show you exactly what, what I'm talking about. Here's the Word document. So what this is, uh, is we have a whole bunch of different factors over here on the left side. Uh, we have information about your fight schedule, your training cycles, and I'm going to go over these in more detail in a second. And we have information about performance factors. You, uh, uh, you don't need to know what these are right now. I just want to introduce you to the structure of the document. And then we have all this information on the, on the right hand side of this space to actually program uh, your periodized training plan that's individualized to you. So in the Word document, it's just a template. So I've created a couple different pages. There's enough pages here to do at least a, a 12 month plan. So if you're old fashioned, if you like to work with pencils and papers, and uh, sometimes I like to work with pencils and papers as well, uh, then this is for you. So what you should do is download this document. If on the other hand, you are a little more computer savvy, then I'm gonna recommend that you download the, the Excel document. And that's what we're looking at right now. So the difference is rather than downloading it and, and, and printing it off and, and using a pencil to write everything, then you're gonna be just using everything in Excel. You're, you're gonna be, be creating lines. You're gonna be um, typing in um, uh, information in Excel. Now the nice thing about this is it's, it's pretty condensed. And the way I've set it up is we still have all those performance factors, training cycles and fight schedule, all that information on the left hand side except now uh, you can scroll across and you can type the information in uh, as you go along. And again, there's enough room here for a 12 month plan. So I'm gonna be working with Excel because it's pretty easy to use for me, um, but it's up to you. So I'm gonna, I want you to pause the video right now and, and download either the Excel uh, worksheet or the, or the Word document. And if you download the Word document, make sure you print it off and get a pencil uh, and come on back because we're gonna be going through this stuff. Uh, and, and I'm going to be introducing you to all the key concepts and everything on the left here. So pause the video now, go and get that stuff and then turn me back on when you're ready to go. Okay, I'm going to assume that you're ready to go. So I'm going to start reviewing everything on this left hand side. So at the very top, we're looking at information about our fight schedule. So this is your fight schedule. We're going to see information on the location. You can type in uh, or, or write in in this segment. There's going to be the date, of course, of your fight. Uh, there's going to be information on the calendar month and the calendar week. So you're going to input all this information uh, as it relates to, your, relates to your fight from now until then. 
So this is pretty important information. It's the big picture stuff, and it helps us uh, detail our training uh, and tra training cycles later on. So that moves us on to the training cycle section, and the big phases here, this is the first thing that we focus on, and we're gonna write the big training phases in here. If you remember, that's the general prep phase, that's the fight specific phase, that's the, the, the fight camp, the taper, the transition. We're gonna write all that stuff in here. And then the next thing that you're gonna see is information about training volume and training intensity. And these things can range from, I've put about 10% all the way up to 100%. And we're going to draw the lines in that correspond to the training volume and intensity and how it's going to fluctuate over the course of our plan. And then we drill down from the big training phases down into training sub phases, training weeks, and even the training day. And all that information is going to go right across here. Uh, training weeks right across here, training days. And you can see this is even broken down into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday even. And then below this, we have the difficulty of training, which is gonna be scheduled on a weekly and daily basis. And the, the difficulty of training can range from no training, because you gotta have days off every once in a while, to low, uh, low training difficulty, uh, medium, high, and very high training difficulty. So this is the information that I'm gonna be, or this is where the information is gonna go. Don't worry, I know this probably sounds a little bit confusing, but this is your first glimpse at the worksheet, and we're gonna take you through that step-by-step -step process later on. Everything is gonna become very, very clear with regards to these periodization factors, the training cycle information. And then at the bottom here, we have performance factors. These are all the performance factors that influence your performance in the cage. So you're gonna have things like your resistance training, which includes strength and endurance and, and power development. When I say endurance, I'm talking about muscular endurance and muscular strength and, and muscular power. Um, so you'll focus on the, those objectives in this section. Uh, but remember, the purpose of this video, it's not to design a resistance training program, there's other courses for that. The purpose of this video uh, series is to help you develop unstoppable endurance. So you can see that performance factor is gonna be dealt with here. So I'm gonna be helping you fill in this row right here. But these are all the performance factors that can be periodized across your fight plan. But just as a reminder, we're gonna be working uh, exclusively with endurance training. So I hope this gives you a good understanding of, uh, of all the things that we're gonna be filling in, all the different performance factors. It may sound a little bit confusing right now, but don't worry, we're gonna work our way through it together. So let's go back to that presentation. So I hope now you have a good understanding of the worksheets. What I wanna do now is just talk about the different steps that, are, that, that I'm gonna take you through. There's four different steps. So the first thing that, that we're gonna do when we get to that, and this is gonna be session seven, we focus on step one, we're gonna focus on the big picture stuff. We're gonna start to plan your transition, which is around three weeks, your taper, there's a fight camp, it's eight weeks before that. And then we schedule the fight specific preparatory phase. Now the length of the fight specific prep phase, it depends upon where you're at in your training. If you need to develop a, a lot of aerobic endurance, if that's your weak area, then you need to include a general prep phase. Uh, but if you're advanced, uh, if you have good aerobic endurance and you're really just looking to optimize your performance and focus on all other energy systems, you, you probably don't need to have as long or a general prep phase at all. So let's have a look uh, at a little example here. So here's the example of the four month plan. And like I said, the purpose is to focus on these big phases. So first we're gonna be scheduling the fight specific phase followed by the fight camp, the taper, and the transition. Because remember, the four month plan, it assumes that you're proficient, uh, you're, you're intermediate to an advanced fighter, you're gonna be fighting in four months, you, you need to have a solid aerobic foundation before you jump into this plan because it doesn't focus a lot on the aerobic energy systems. So that's the purpose of, of this session, uh, session one, or, or sorry, session seven, where we focus on step one. It's all about programming those big phases and making them match up with your fight schedule. But once we have that, then we can move into step two, which is all about forecasting training volume and training intensity. And that talks about these seemingly random lines, the red lines and the blue lines as training volume uh, and training intensity. And it looks kind of random, but it's not. There's a reason why all of these curves are in the places they are. And this is kind of where the art comes into it. I'm gonna explain why I've chose to manipulate training volume and training intensity at these specific times. And you can either follow it or, or, or don't, it's up to you. So that's gonna be the purpose of, of step two, which is session eight, is forecasting training volume and intensity. And here's again an example with a four month plan. 
you can see how training volume and training intensity are changed over the course of this, this four month fight plan. And we're gonna talk to you about all the ins and outs and help you create your own curves there that are totally suitable and individualized to your plan. After we've, we've moved through step two, that's session eight, we move on to session nine. And that's when we focus on planning these sub phases and training weeks. So you're gonna have a document that's gonna have the transition taper fight camp, the fight specific prep phase, and maybe the general prep phase scheduled. And then we're gonna to start to go into each one of those phases and schedule those sub phases. And you don't know about this yet. You don't know that there are shock phases. You don't know that there are developmental phases. You don't know what those are. You don't know that there are peaking weeks or transition weeks. So we're gonna introduce you to some concepts uh, in this uh, step, uh, step three, session nine set, uh, lecture. So that's gonna be an important one. Everything's gonna be a whole lot clearer when we get into that. So again, here's the example of the four month plan. And what you're gonna notice here is the, the purpose of this step, step three, it's to, to fill out these sections, the training sub phases, the training weeks, uh, and you can fill out the training days, that doesn't really change too much. So it's these big things that we haven't talked about, the developmental uh, sub phases, the shock sub phases, we're gonna introduce you to those later on. We're also gonna help you program training difficulty on a weekly basis, which is this black line here which is gonna cover the entire four month training plan. And so now that you've scheduled the big training phases, you made it match up with, with, your, with your calendar schedule and your fight, then you schedule the sub phases, uh, you schedule the training weeks, you have the training difficulty set, now it's time to actually get into the nitty gritty and start programming the training session. So what you're looking at here, this is, uh, this is the training log template, which you can also download. Uh, let me just bring that up so you can see exactly uh, what we're talking about. So here's, again, uh, it's a Word document, it's the training log. And, and so the information you're gonna be putting here when you train is it could be an AM session right here, or it could be a, a PM session. And the type of information you're including is the phase that you're training in, with, whether it's the, the general prep, if that's, a, if that's applicable, or the fight specific prep, or uh, maybe it's the, the fight camp you're in, or the taper of the transition. Either way, you're putting that here, and then you're gonna identify the sub phase, maybe it's a developmental shock or recovery week. Again, I'm gonna give you a full definition and help you with all of those sub phases. Same with the training weeks. You're gonna put in the training day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and then the intended difficulty of the training session. You're gonna put your training objectives, which I'm gonna help you iron out. I'm gonna talk about that more, more about that in a second. Uh, I'm gonna give you the warm up that you should use. I'm gonna give you the main body of the workout. I'm gonna give you the cool downs, and then we're gonna program all this stuff, and then you're going to fill in general comments, uh, if you have any. Other information that's available here, we, we've showed you these before. We want to make sure that you're not overtraining, so you have to monitor the signs and symptoms of overtraining in the areas of nutrition, uh, your physical body, and your health, so you can fill this out on, um, on each day that you train. And then just as a reminder, here are the overtraining signs and symptoms. So again, this is the training log, which you can download again here, but we've, we've covered this a little while ago. Let's get back to that presentation. So here's just an example. This is, this is um, what we want to get to. Is everything want, we, we want to fill everything out and you wanna know exactly what you're gonna be doing and that's what we're gonna be telling you. Now, just as a little reminder here, uh, this is all step four. This is gonna be uh, the final session, session 10, and we're gonna be programming individual workouts. And this is just a review of, of how we program individual workouts. If you have a general prep phase, then in that we know we're gonna be targeting mostly the aerobic energy systems. And we have a whole bunch of workouts that we're gonna select from, I'm gonna hand pick them uh, with you and we're going to slot those into the appropriate sections. Uh, if you're focusing on other fight plans and maybe you're starting with the fight specific prep phase and maybe you're just focusing on aerobic glycolysis and then as you move through, move uh, closer to the fight camp, you start, you, you start to focus again still on aerobic glycolysis but you start to incorporate more ATP PCR training sessions. So uh, this is the rationale, this is how we structure your workouts. Let me just give you a little example actually. Uh, so you can see how we build these things in. So uh, this is an example of, let's move over to a fight specific. So here's an example of a fight specific preparatory phase. Uh, and this is what we're gonna show you exactly how to do. So you can see here there's workouts. Um, in this case, let me roll over that again. 
This workout here, it's six to seven times, 60 seconds on, four minutes off with the one minute build up, and it's MMA specific activity because they're in the fight specific preparatory phase. So this is what we're gonna show you exactly how to do. We're gonna, we're gonna get really, really detailed. So by the end of this, you should have all of your workouts chosen. So let's go back to that PowerPoint presentation. So let's give you a little summary here of everything that we've talked about so far. Remember, the first thing that I wanted to do, the big objective here, was to introduce you to those worksheets. So now you should have an understanding of the worksheets, you should have downloaded them, you should know what we're gonna use them for. The next thing that we, we talked about was understanding the four steps to creating unstoppable endurance. This is what we're gonna be working through in sessions seven, eight, nine, and 10. Session seven, we're gonna cover step one. That's when we schedule the big training phases. Session eight, or step two, that's when we're gonna forecast training volume and intensity across your entire fight plan. It's gonna be individualized to you and your fight schedule. Step three, session nine, that's when we're gonna be planning training subphases and training weeks. And, and finally, step four, which is covered in session, set, session 10, the last session, that's when we really drill in, like we were just talking about, to those individual workouts. We tell you exactly what to do, the warm up, uh, the body of the workout, the cool down, you get it all. So I hope that you're excited, I hope that you're ready to go, and I look forward to, to working with you to create your own plan for developing unstoppable endurance. We'll see you in the next session.